So over the past few days, I've seen some different posts on Facebook message boards and actually received a call from a, another timer in my area that have had some issues with capturing on one machine and evaluating on another. They were saving across the network, files became corrupted, they can't open the actual image file within finish links, they get an error. So how do you prevent that from happening? Well, there's some functionality in finish links that I'll show you now on how to set that up. Now, first thing to know, you're capturing on one machine and evaluating on another machine on the network. If you're capturing and evaluating on the same machine, you don't need to know this, but it isn't a bad idea to learn how to use this in case someone reaches out to you that does capture and evaluate that way. So let's look at our files here. So as you can see, in my C drive, my links folder 2023, I have a test folder. And inside there, I have three events with six images in total plus the three event files. And then I also, on my E drive, which is not a network drive, it's actually on my actual computer, I have a folder called links-test, and there's no images here, nothing here. It's an empty folder. Imagine, if you will, this is a map network drive. I'm saving it to my evaluate computer, if you will. So within finish links, let's go ahead and get that set. So you can either click on file and options and go to the event tab, or you can click on event and options and it'll open right on that tab. So I already have it set up where my event directory is C links 2023 test. My backup directory is E links dash test. So how does this functionality work? Well, what happens in the software is when you click on file and backup events, finish links will look at everything in the event directory and copy and paste it to the backup directory. It doesn't do a save. It just copies and pastes. So let's go ahead and look at that and how it functions. It'll also look at um, compare anything that's new and carry it over. So let's say you keep doing this process after every race, but you get behind. It will go ahead and catch you back up. So if you have four events that haven't been put over here to the backup directory, it'll take those four new events that it sees here and put them in here. One thing to keep in mind, if you have larger files, big Identilinks files, uh, let's say you captured every lap of a 10,000 meter race, it's going to take a little bit of time to save this across, especially if you have a little bit slower network. Um, so be careful when you're doing this process, because when you do it, you're locked out. You can't go into the next race. You won't be able to do certain things. So pick and choose when you do this. Is, is, is only a word of caution. So in this case, you would click file and backup. Now I have a keyboard shortcut set here and I'm going to go ahead and click that, but I want you to pay attention to this area down here where obviously you'd load a camera. So I'm going to press control B right now. You'll see it flash green, go away. And now when I look at that links test, you see those files all there all nine files, the events and all the images. And I can go ahead and click on one of those. And then I could go ahead and evaluate. And that will help you tremendously because you still have the original copy of the file on the capture machine. You're not saving it across the network. You're copying it across the network and pasting it, but you still maintain that original file. So if something ever happens, you have the data. Another thing to let you know about is that when you try to save files across the network, it takes a lot longer sometimes, it slows things down, and you don't retain the original file. So always, 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 it's a really good practice. This event directory should always be on the local machine. Never set this to across the network or a NAS drive or a server, anything like that. Keep this local. If you're capturing and evaluating on the same machine, you may want to upload this to Dropbox or the cloud, whatever. If you have a map drive or, or some sort of network path there, you can put this in there. And then once the meet's done, click file backup 
and it'll push it all up there. I've done this a few times, uh, pushing it to the cloud to have a repository of all my images. So there's some other use cases there, but this is the way to do it.